If you've watched my iFont Maker tutorial, you know that I like to start by explaining what all the icons mean first before diving deeper and exploring their individual options and uses. So from top to bottom, left to right, let's begin with the toolbars. The home icon gets you back to the home page. This is the toolbar and this is the tools option drawer that will change depending on which tool you have selected. Underneath the home button, you have access to three different types of brushes pixel brushes, live brushes, and vector brushes. If your piece needs a variety of brushes and you think you'll have to switch around a lot, you can undock this panel from the toolbar and leave it open anywhere on the screen. Same with the tool options. If you need to change colors, you can undock the color chip as well as the brush options and position them where it's most convenient for you. When you're done, click on the X to close it or drag it back into the toolbar. Some tools have the small triangle that indicates there's more variations. Keep it pressed to access them. Fresco comes equipped with over 90 different brushes and each category contains a number of presets. The one you are using is highlighted in blue. And to reduce overwhelm, I would suggest to maybe choose a handful to give you some variety check the star next to them, and then have them show up in your favorites tab for quicker access. Each brush comes with a list of corresponding tool options for size, flow, and other brush settings. We'll look at these in more detail in the next video. The eraser icon lets you correct and refine anything you need, and you can adjust size and opacity of your eraser brush in the tool options. The Move and Transform tool lets you select everything that is on the layer and move or transform it. You can scale it up or down, rotate, or mirror both vertically and horizontally. Cancel out on the top left, or when you're done, click Done on the top right to get back to the layer. With the Lasso icon, you can select specific items on your layer and then perform selection actions like Transform, Erase, Mask, Deselect, hide or invert that selection. You can choose whether to have the selection look like marching ants or overlay. And the anti-aliasing is a technique where you smooth the jagged pixelated edges with the color of the pixels around it for a better blend and it's up to you if you want to use it or not. The lasso icon lets you draw an organic shape or tap your stylus to the screen for straight connective lines. The brush selection tool is for all organic shapes. Each tapping of your pencil will create a separate new point. With the square and round selection, you can select rectangular or oval shapes. When you go back to the selection tool, Fresco gives you the option to load your last selection again, which might come in handy if you click the wrong button by accident. And the tool options lets you choose whether combining or offsetting the paths your selections contain. The paint bucket fills the layer or selected space with solid color from the color chip. When you click on the corresponding icon for fill settings, you'll be able to adjust how closely you want the fill to reach the borders. The eyedropper lets you sample any color you have on screen. Move it around to find exactly the shade you need, and you can also use your finger, just keep it pressed to the screen. The photo icon lets you take a photo, import an image from your camera roll, files, or Creative Cloud. To do that, you have to give Fresco access to your camera, photos, and files. The color chip lets you choose different colors by using the wheel, or if you have a specific HSB value, you can change hue, saturation, and brightness with that particular number. Colors you've used will appear in the recent drawer, and you can create your own color palette by choosing the color and adding it to your recents. Around the wheel, you also have quick access to pure white, black, and clear.